This is Glen Tang, where Scania tests the technology that's going to underpin the future of our transport system. And behind me in the sealed off area is where they test autonomous self-driving mining trucks. Nina, hello. Hello, Andrew. Welcome. Thanks. Pleased to meet you. Same. What do we got here? This is uh, this is amazing looking. Yeah. As you see, we are in the control room, and from here we can start the operations by dispatching the vehicles into the missions. So we've got this this screen, and we have a map, I guess, of of Glenton, right? Yes. So then I see drop bear, and then I see a green arrow kind of going round. Who's that, or what is that? It's actually one of our autonomous vehicles and it is operating a mission right now. And there are different actions that you can see there on the panel, on the right panel. We call mm -hmm. it the vehicle panels. Mm -hmm. And there you can see different actions. And the one which is being executed now is with the green color. How many of these trucks can you control at the one time? I mean, is it just one? Or? No, of course, more than one. So I think up to 10 vehicles or even more, but I haven't actually been controlling more than 10 vehicles. But of course, we can do that. send the mission that I'm done loading. So this truck will get that signal and drive away. The guy in the loader? Yeah. Okay. So you're a safety driver. What does that mean? What it is, what is it that you, that you do? So I'm um, looking into the system that it behaves as it should. Right. And uh, ready to react and intervene if something doesn't. I can override the steering wheel. Right. Uh, or I can uh, use the accelerator pedal or brake and I also have this uh, emergency like switch off so I kind of easy can what's that the horn what's yeah it's just there? ready to go so now we're leaving okay. ah. yeah. it's quite interesting when you can also when you're working in this area that is very new you don't really know how it should work nothing that is right or wrong. It's like, how, how do we want to solve this? And how do we want this to work? So it's, uh, it's quite open to get your ideas and how, how should this work? Even if you're used to it, do you still get a little bit of thrill of being in an autonomous truck when the truck is driving yeah, yeah. by itself? Yeah. It is quite cool, actually. <laughs> <It is. laughs> Hey Matthias. Hello Andrew. So as a field operator, tell me how this works. You've got a mobile phone and you're basically controlling that truck behind yeah. us. And now I have put the vehicle in a safe state. Right. So the vehicle won't move. It's a safety precaution we have. Mm -hmm. And then when I release the safe state, the vehicle should start moving along like a first a short handover mission mm -hmm. and then we are ready to send like the proper mission so yes first get some safe distance and then send it on what it's going to do let's do it yeah cool let's do it and that's now the it, signal that's the signal now it's received so now we'll start move here we go here we go <laughs> fun times yeah So this is the handover end now. 
So now we're going to get ready for this final stage, which is to send it off on its mission, right? Yeah. All right. So that we can do also with the phone. So I press the button here. And then now it's autonomous, driving on its own. No one in it. No one in it. The machine's just going itself. Yes. There we go. mining so well suited, Tanya? It's in a confined and controlled area, which means you, you, you are much better suited for launching the autonomous vehicles right now. The legal framework is already there, uh, so we control who's in there and they are trained how to behave in, with these vehicles. It's a repetitive flow. The vehicles can do exactly the same thing over and over and over again. So it's, it's a very well fit for autonomous vehicles. You have the ability to run for pure 24-7. There is no need for lunch breaks or shift changes or any other breaks. And on top of that, uh, these are a safer system overall, meaning that they will be a lot less accidents. And because at every accident, the mine might have to stop with the loss of production as a consequence. So that's why even being safe is an economical gain. And you, who've been uh, working with this since day one, and I think you said one of your children was perhaps younger than uh, <laughs> the beginning of this, this project. I mean, how does it feel for you to kind yeah. of be getting to this stage, the business end of things? It is fantastic because for many years it's been almost like research, but now we see it actually operating on the, on the client side. And we see now what we've been working for so long, and it feels fantastic to be here. And I, I'm so proud of my babies.